Hey everyone! Today I'll be making these sugar-free banana muffins, and by sugar-free, I mean that these muffins will have no hint of sweetness at all. So it'll taste pretty bland, but I hope you guys will like it. So let's start out with making the vegan egg. You just want to let that sit as you work on the other ingredients to let the chia egg um, gel up. So today I'm using two thirds of a cup plus three quarters of a cup of whole wheat pastry flour. It's a finer type of whole wheat flour, um, but you could also use all-purpose flour. And then next, I put in three fourths teaspoon of baking powder with half a teaspoon of baking soda and then a pinch of salt. I gave the dry ingredients a quick mix. And now back to the chia egg. It should have gelled up really nicely. Um, this is what we meant by the egg because it's supposed to be represent one egg. So. Now for the banana, here I have a super ripe banana, it's extremely ripe. The entire banana is completely black, so that's how ripe it is. Um, obviously you can use a banana with a couple brown spots, um, they're fine too, but you just want to mash it and get around a 3 quarters of a cup, and that usually is one banana. And it should look something like this and now you're ready to put in all the flour and now because we are using whole wheat flour um, the mixture will turn out a bit dry the batter will be kind of dense and tough and that's why just add as much additional milk as you need um, I added around a cup of additional milk the batter that you're shooting for is one that is um, kind of wet but not too runny but it shouldn't be that thick you know what I'm saying? Like you kind of have that sweet spot where you can feel that it has a flow to it. So that's the batter that you want so that your muffins won't come out tough and dense. Um, it'll come out moist. And now I divided the batter into six muffin pans. Um, I had a six muffin liners uh, in the center so that they would cook evenly. And then I topped each muffins up with some pecans. It's totally optional, but it. Um, it'll add some great nut flavor to it. And now bake the muffins off at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes. And now you can just let them cool and then you're ready to eat them. These are actually pretty good. I mean, they tasted bland because they didn't have the sweetness. But if you guys would like to try something out like this, let me know if you do try this. Um, I would really love to know what you guys think. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time.